Hello, everybody. We are back at uh, ID PGA 38. Top Cut Finals is next. We're going to see the last two teams fight against each other, see who wins this entire tournament. Yes. I neglected to mention before our quick break that the finals were the next match coming up, so my <laughs> apologies, everybody. Oops. I am super hyped. If you can't tell, <laughs> we're going to see Imperfect Impudence versus New Name, which we just saw come back 3-1 to one after losing the first game. And uh, I did watch a couple of Imperfect Impudence's games earlier. Um, and I've seen Space Seals, I've seen Ego around, mm -hmm. and so their gameplay is always super coordinated with their teammates. It seems like like no matter who they play with. So this these these teams coming into the finals is super awesome. Yeah, I don't think I recognize anyone on the side of Imperfect Impudence, but oh, I'm still excited. Look at the the weapons that they have ready. I would love to see a ranged blaster come out here. But I, I feel like blasters are always a little risky. You never know if if the team is ready to follow them up. But if I could see a blaster, that'd be really cool. Come on, guys. Where <laughs> is it? Do it for me. <laughs> Give Six her blaster. Ah, <laughs> that's okay. I think I see a umbrella on that side. Yes, we do. We see umbrella on the side of, I believe, Imperfect Incident. Uh, I'm gonna be excited for that. It's not, it's not a blaster, but it'll have to do. Yes, I really want to see the tent wiper combo here. Tent already taking some attention. Ooh. Gets a pick on the right side of the zone from their perspective. Uh, but in perfect impudence, they lose a couple members. But the zone's not taken just yet, and of course, as soon as I say that, <laughs> it's the curse. Yes. Uh, but it looks like New Name was only able to hold it for a few seconds before Imperfect Impudence got back up. Oh, I mm, spoke too uh -huh. soon. <laughs> Curse is on the other mic now. Yep. Well, <laughs> New Name is able to to get the the points here. They're able to try and push up Imperfect Impudence because all four are up. They're able to build some specials, try and get some of the their area back, and they get two picks off of New Name. Maybe they're able to push in a little bit more, but it looks like New Name is just in in their, their base here and do not want to leave. Yeah, they have definitely dug in here. They are entrenched. We're seeing a Zuka come out. It wow. finds a pick. <laughs> I, I'm so shocked. That was amazing. Yeah, that was a good pick. That was, that was, that was such. It looks like New Name is still doing a really good job just kind of being annoying in the imperfect impudence of space. Oh, but with, with this Brella here, we might see some changeover in who has control of zone. Uh, they're doing a good job stalling here, but New Name has broken past 20. Um, if they can just keep up a little bit of paint, let their teammates come in, New Name might be able to get at least a penalty. Ooh, it was so close to being painted yellow for imperfect impudence, but New Name was able to rush back to zone to be able to paint at least uh, one of the sides purple, and now it looks like they have both of them. They're able to to get a wipeout. Wipeout. Yeah. Oh, that is not what you want to see when you're in single digits on the zone. And there we go. The win goes to Team New Name. New Name again, coming out <laughs> strong. They're so aggressive. They're they're able to to get up in the enemy's space, close to their spawn even, and just be annoying to 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 paint to keep them way, way pushed back. Yes, and they even popped another aggressive crab in uh, Impudence's base earlier. Mm. And they made their first push forward. I missed that crab completely. That's my favorite part. I know. I was surprised. You didn't say anything when it happened. I was like, oh, okay. I, I was just focusing on the paint. I was I was hoping that Imperfect Impudence would be able to, to paint enough to, to flip it in their favor because it was so close so many times, but they just weren't able to hold. It was. Um, so coming in on the next match, I'm not really sure what we'll see from Imperfect Impudence. Yeah, I'm wondering if they're, they're going to back away from the Brella now that that they have this one loss. I hope not. Well, I, unless that means the blaster comes out, maybe? Question mark? In that case, yes. <laughs> In that case, then it's fine. 
So I don't know what happened with the last match in the semifinals, but new name has definitely kicked into a new gear here. Mm -hmm. They they found their footing. They they recognized that their aggressive gameplay can work for them as long as they they coordinate together. Because I believe in in the first uh, game of the last set, uh, it just they were getting picked off too quickly. But now they seem to work together to know when they should push forward and when to hold off. We do see the S Blaster on, with, from Olmi. Hey, let's uh, go! <laughs> <laughs> now, I don't remember seeing that listed on their pool of weapons, but you know what? That's fine. We take this. Yes. Okay, so both teams now making it to mid. I like this overhead view because we could see that new name was kind of spreading out a little bit on both sides of the spine. It was really interesting. I think that might be a little bit different from how they approached this map when they played in the semifinals. Oh, definitely. I believe New Name last time they they just tried to get to mid as quickly as possible and tried to to do some some picks via sharking rather than painting their space and and you know holding off the enemy team. But they seem to have learned from that. They've got a lot of paint on their side. They're able to traverse onto the enemy and they're able to get some picks off. It's Oh no, but there's there's two down from uh, uh, the side, from both sides actually. But let's see who's able to, to get the tower after this, this exchange. Looks like New Name holding on by the skin of their teeth there for a few minutes. They only had one or two players up. They are able to squeak past the first checkpoint. They have a three specials ready, using the ink strikes, using the crab. They've got a tacticooler on the tower. It's a little less of an aggressive crab than, than I would like, but <laughs> yeah. you know what? That's fine. They're, they're trying to stay safe. They know that Imperfect Impudence has spread out a bit. They know that they can get picked off easily, so you know what? I understand. I understand the, the defensive crab. Yes. But Imperfect Impudence, they did a pretty good job there. They popped a tacticooler in their court. And they were able to have someone, I think, Space Seals, jump on the tower to start pushing it back. Um, so even though New Name, they were able to get past the first checkpoint, they're not really letting them have the second checkpoint very easily. Oh, definitely. It looks like a perfect impudence. Is, oh, well, the, the new name was able to get this checkpoint. However, Imperfect Impudence is trying to spread out, is trying to stop New Name from getting any further forward. It seems to be some trading off on the tower, but Imperfect Impudence is able to slider. change it their color, yeah. From only there, got two, it looked like. That would be the that S-class, push. yeah? Yes. Let's go! Let's go, blaster power! <laughs> it's because no one expects the blasters. No no one... They, they might know what the blaster is capable of, but they never expect it. This is a meta that favors shooters, so they're gonna expect shooters. That's why the blaster is the perfect, like, little pocket to pull it out. Are you a blaster main? I'm, I'm not, actually! <laughs> I just respect blasters a lot. Oh, okay. <laughs> because I can't play them. Hey, I mean, neither can I, so... <laughs> But when you see a really good blaster, like we see here on the uh, Imperfect Impotence, when you see a good S-Blast with, with the well-timed reef sliders, it's just, it's, it's beautiful to watch. It's so fun to watch, because you know they've just mastered that weapon so well. Yes, exactly. And here we see the S-Blaster trying to help take the spine, get some space in mid. Uh, the, looks like Impudence does find a pick. On New Name, they found two now. New Name might be getting a little bit staggered, but Soko trying to clean up, get Impudence out of their court. There's a lot of ink on the ground, though. I'm seeing a lot of yellow on New Name's yeah. side of the map. I was getting excited for Imperfect Impudence. It looks like they're able to get a little bit more of a hold on the New Name's side. Although, as I say that, two of them go down, and it looks like New Name is able to, to push them back to hold them from... Uh, to hold Imperfect Impudence from getting any more points here. Yeah, it has kind of become a little bit of a free-for-all here for the last at least 30 seconds in mid as both teams had players jumping in, <laughs> just trying to have somebody out there in, on the battlefield, pushing the enemy back, or at least threatening the enemy team. Oh, definitely. I think Imperfect Impudence sees here that they've got to make this last push. They've got to make it count. They've got to hold space. They've got to be aggressive, even if 
their positioning and, and where New Name is at doesn't favor those decisions quite well. Another cheeky slide in from Olmi on the S Blaster. I believe they found another two picks in that left corner. This might be Impudence's chance. Ooh, they were so close. Oh, they've got the tower again. Let's see if they can get more points. Oh, but they get wiped out by New Name, stopping them from their push. And there's only 10 seconds left. Will Imperfect Impudence be able to get somebody on the tower? Anybody on the tower, please make the clock Just get stop. this overtime. <laughs> and the S Blaster only is on the tower. They've got two on the tower. Oh, it looks... Oh, no. Oh, At the last they second. just able to jump on. Those are the disappointing ones when you still have one of your teammates on the tower and it still gets turned over. When, when overtime still gets ended. Because it's like, no, someone was there! But if you jump if you have to, to dodge one of the bombs that new name carefully placed there. It's, it's over for you. Yes. New name starting off strong on the finals. Dangerous to go alone. Season 38. Taking two wins from impudence. Mm -hmm. Gosh, but I don't know. Impudence, they're a little wily, maybe a little <laughs> bit more maneuverable than new names. So I feel like we might see a little bit of a a harder, uh, like a. I don't know how to describe it, but I feel like impudence is like right on the cusp of really oh, giving new name a hard time here. Definitely, they haven't given up yet. Th this match like proves it they were able to to hold better than they were in the previous one they were able to 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 push the tower to gain some points and it might not have gone all the way in their favor but they're they're learning they're adjusting they're understanding and i think whatever next uh set next match whatever they, they have they're, we're gonna see a lot more aggression from them now that they know that they can do this they they can score points yeah, cause, because uh, New Name's push, it was pretty hefty. They got to, I believe, 60-something, 60 62. Mm -hmm. But Impudence, they got to 40-something. That's only 20 points. That's just past a checkpoint in a little bit, you know? Mm -hmm. And Flounder Heights Rainmaker, it's like a recipe to have <laughs> a brutal close match. Oh, goodness. Flounder Heights is so good for, for sharking, for hiding. Just... You know painting the, the side walls and just hiding on them. Just, just sneak attacks everywhere. This is a great map for that. So this might favor new name if they keep with their oops all shooter comp, but <laughs> I don't, Imperfect Impudence might also know that and be able to punish it, uh, who's to say? Okay, so do you want them to keep the S Blast? Hmm. I think I think the S Blast is, is good on this map because there are so many ledges that you could stand under and be able to, to shoot up. So I think S Blast is still a good pick. It might be a little harder to find good areas to do a reef slider, but I think I think they could make it work. Okay. Alright, let's see what our lineup is. No S Blast, <laughs> only is gone with the roller. A great choice. And I was course... about to call him a coward, but I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> We would never do that. No, people make their own choices in this world, and if, if someone chooses not to use a blaster, well, that's on them. <laughs> okay, looks like Impudence. They're a little bit spread out. They got a quick missile. Ooh, they were able to get two picks right away, I believe, off of uh, New Name. Yeah, New Was Name actually around? got wiped out here in the Ooh. first 30 seconds. Impudence, I think, did that by calculation. I think they spread them out and tried to go for picks because they knew Nune would be trying to start off strong as they have been the past two matches. But maybe maybe it was a coincidence, but I think they did that on purpose. No, I think you're right. I think they, they knew the play style of New Name and they were able to counter it very well to get that, that wipe out, to get that first checkpoint. Let's see if New Name can kind of counter that now. How can they counter when Imperfect Impudence knows what they're gonna do? Well, we're about to find out. That's right. New Name now. A couple of their players have the, the buff from their Tacticooler, but 
Impudent's doing a great job, especially having the Tri Slasher trying to keep the Rainmaker stalled on the back foot. They've got some rain ready as well. Will they get a chance to use it? They will not. Ahsoko coming in, sees the threat, trying to go in and take out... Ooh. Is Soko getting a quad here? Almost. Almost. They got stopped by that wiper there. As the missiles go out, it looks like Imperfect Impotence is ready to retake the Rainmaker to stop any further pushing on the side of New Name. And here we might see a perfectly timed wiper flank. You love to see it. Uh, the oh, Rainmaker's yeah, in a little bit of a dangerous position here. But I don't think anyone from New Name to get to it. No, and it does reset. And it was a good hold off from Imperfect Impotence. Uh, I'm not sure if they're in a position to, to push it themselves, but they are sure holding New Name off from grabbing it. They're able to paint mid pretty well their color, so New Name is not able to, to get around to do any sharking that they're so very well known for. Yes. Space Seals going in, finding a couple picks, but the Zap was there waiting in the trench with a Tacticooler with a spot for their teammates to jump in with the checkpoint down for both teams this is a pretty precarious position that they're in Ooh, the aggressive crab help new name to get the the lead from imperfect impotence uh i love seeing the aggressive crab now the new name is in it looks like they have one down i'm not sure if they're going to be able to push any more than this but that's okay they've got the lead uh imperfect impotence is going to need to take back their, their side as well as mid again. It looks like it's pretty painted blue right now though. Yeah, if they can't get New Name out of their courtyard here and out of their ramp, it's going to be very Ooh. difficult. And they get wiped. That is not what you want to see at this stage. Can they stop the Rainmaker? They do. They are hanging on by the whites of their knuckles here. <laughs> Oh, no. Another oh, stop on the Rainmaker! I won! Me with the roller stop oh, and a wipeout! Oh, Let's go! Wow. Impudence is still in this. Yeah, they said it's not over yet as they're pushing this Rainmaker forward because uh, New Name was down that no one is able to, to get far enough to, to be able to pick the Rainmaker off yet. I'm guessing a perfect Impudence is gonna hold here for a little while, get a little more paint down before they start pushing. And they would like to, but it looks like New Name's being a little crafty, a little wily, popping up from the trench, from the side walls. Um, but sneaky. that's okay. Doing, doing a little sneaking around here. Yeah. Impudence was able to at least get the Rainmaker out of their side of the map, which mm -hmm. is fine. They can have a reset now. There's 30 seconds left. Yeah, Perfect Impudence is going to need to get a lot of paint down. It looks like New Name has control of mid here, but Imperfect Impotence only has about 20 more seconds before this game goes to New Name. Olmi finding a pick. New Name is down two players. Impudence has the Rainmaker. If they just watch out for these side walls, watch out for the top wall. Watch out for every wall. Watch out it's, for it's the bombs. This is Flounder. This is Flounder yeah. Heights. You gotta watch every wall here. That's true. Impudence. They lose their roller, but they do find a pick of their own. Mm, they're trying to play it so safe here. They don't want this Rainmaker picked off because that's the end of overtime. But if they're not able to push forward at all, the timer's gonna go down and they're not going to get this game either. Yes, but they're doing a great Ooh. job. Nice and steady. Trying to find their way towards the enemy's base. They're getting staggered picks Ooh. off of New Name, oh, but no! the Zooka! The Zooka! The one yeah. shot to end it all from New Name. And they were they were doing so well. Oh my goodness. And Perfect Impudence was trying their hardest to to take that that overtime win. They were biding their time. They were waiting for the other other players to get their picks. But oh, when that when that Zooka goes off. There's yeah, nothing you can do about it. <laughs> yeah, just one impudence. It's like they finally came together mm -hmm. to start doing those little steps in that coordinated effort that we've been wanting to see this whole time.
but they yes. were stopped. They didn't have quite enough time, I think, because of the urgency of the overtime. Yeah, that that doesn't help when you know that, that this is your actual last chance to, to push forward. It always makes you that much more nervous <laughs> to be able to, to hold against the, the team that you've been losing against thus far. Wow. We're back, finally, after such a long break mm -hmm. with It's Dangerous to Go Alone, Season 38, and we have our first new champions, new name. <laughs> Thank you, Six. A round of applause, <laughs> round of everybody. Applause for new name! New name, and for impudence, for all of our members here, this was a blast. And before we sign off here, where can the good people find you, Six? Uh, the good people can find me on Twitter and, and also on TikTok. Uh, look up Miss Pixie Six, the full name. You will find me. And uh, Panda, where can people find you? Very easy. At the Tao Panda. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, uh, all of the fans of Off the Dial, don't forget to visit the shop, shop.otd.inc. We have yes. all sorts of cool merch, little things, big things. They're wonderful. I believe I you can so type much. that exact URL in into your browser, right? Shop.otd.inc. That yes. that will work. Oh that, yes. That's that's cool. I've never seen a dot ink uh, a website before. But you know what? If we have it, that that's awesome. Yeah, they have awesome gear there. I actually got a Fable finalists hat. Ooh. from when we played and it is superb quality i <laughs> love it so much <laughs> it's ridiculous well, may have to check it out myself so uh, whether you do sweaters hats stickers you name it it'll be awesome Ooh, are, are we we raiding chase here it looks we like uh we're setting up for a twitch raid after this uh we're going to raid chase Yes, yeah, so don't go anywhere. Stick around. It'll yeah, keep, be a, keep the raid. a raid party. Woo! Uh, GG's all around. Uh, this is Tao Panda and Six signing off. Yeah, goodbye, everybody. Let's go raid.